Hi everyone, it's Lisa Mears. Thank you so much for joining me. In my video today, I'm going to be making a beach card using the Let's Get Away stamp set, which is a brand new stamp set from the new Simon Says stamp release called Let's Chill. And here is a look at the stamp set. You get a beach umbrella, two different style beach chairs, and there are some drinks, sunscreen, a hat, as well as some ocean waves. And these are the sentiments. Let's get away. Care to join me. Don't forget the sunscreen. You deserve a break. Enjoy your vacation and more. There is a set of matching dies available with this set. I do not have the dies, only the stamp set, but I will include product links in the description box below for the stamp set, die set, and all other products that I use in my video today. So I'm going to start out making the background for my card. I'm going to create a scene here using some Distress Oxide inks. I have a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to use the ocean stamp to create a little ocean here on my card front. Now if I put this stamp straight across horizontally it's not going to fit the entire width of my card. So instead of going horizontal with the stamp I'm going to go at a diagonal and I'm only going to have a little ocean scene at the bottom right hand corner of my card front. So you can see how I place the stamp diagonally there in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to ink it up with some of my Salty Ocean Distress Oxide ink. So I'm going to go ahead and add the ink and then I'm going to press that down to stamp that out my first time. Next I'm going to remove the stamp from the door of my Misty and I'm going to reposition it to get some more of that white area on the bottom corner of my paper. And I have to move my cardstock up just a little bit so that I have plenty of room there to stamp this down. And you can see after I place this down right here that I accidentally move that stamp and I get some of the ink that was left over on the stamp on the cardstock. But I really don't mind that extra ink on the cardstock because after I ink this up a few different times, I am going to come in and I'm going to blend over it. And with the Distress Oxide inks, if you've used them before or if you've seen me use them, you know that they blend easily. So all of those extra little lines on there from my mistake, it's really not going to show up. So here I'm going to go ahead and bring in some more of the Distress Oxide inks. I'm going to come in with the Peacock Feathers and I'm just going to go over that and you can see actually that those lines that I stamped out, they're actually blending in with the Peacock Feathers ink. I'm also going to come in with the Broken China Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to ink over that a little bit as well. I'm going to come up above where that stamp is and just put a little bit of blue there um, beyond the stamped image. And then I'm just going to blend that out again with the Peacock Feathers. So that's going to be my ocean. And then I'm going to come in and create my sand. So I'm going to come in with my Antique Linen Distress Oxide ink and I'm going to ink up some of the white cardstock surrounding that ocean. I'm not going to come too far up to the top of that cardstock because I do want to create a sky. So I'm just covering in the bottom left hand corner and then coming up about um, halfway and just inking it up with the Antique Linen Distress Oxide ink. Also notice I did not come all the way down to where the ocean meets the sand. I actually left a little bit of white space there and the reason for that is because I wanted it to look like there was some sea foam there at the end of the ocean where the ocean meets the sand. So now I'm going to come in and create my sky and I'm going to add some of the sponge sugar distress oxide ink right above where the sand is. So I'm bringing in some pink, it's a very light pink ink. And then I'm going to add the Tumbled Glass Distress Oxide ink there at the top. And I'm going to try and blend that in with the pink a little bit. I wanted to try and get a purple color from the blue and the pink ink. I got a very little bit of purple, but not as much as I wanted to. So you're going to see me come in here with some purple ink and just put a little bit lightly where that blue and pink meet to create a purple line. And this is the shaded Lilac Distress Oxide ink. So now I'm gonna come in with my 
walnut stain ink. I do put some there on my mat and I'm just masking off the ocean as well as the sky with just some sticky notes. And I want to just create a little bit of texture there on the sand. So I'm going to go ahead and add some water to that ink and take a paintbrush and mix it up really well and then just flick that ink onto the sand. And this will have to dry before I use this background if you want to um, use your heat tool to dry it. But I have to go ahead and color up my stamps. So I'm going to set this aside and by the time I'm done coloring my stamps, this background will be good to go. So I did let this dry, but I want to just show you quickly one other thing I'm going to add to the background. So I'm going to take a white gel pen and I'm just going to add some dots along the waves of the ocean because I want it to look like there is more sea foam on the tops of all of those waves. So there is what my background looks like. I just love creating these backgrounds with Distress Oxide inks. And I made another beach background just recently here on my YouTube channel when I demonstrated the Spellbinders Die of the Month for July. And if you're interested in seeing how I made another beach background in that video, I will link it here at the top right hand corner so you can check that out. So I'm going to go ahead and color up all of my stamped images. I went ahead and stamped them out with Versamark Onyx Black ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I am using my Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens. These are watercolor pens. So once I apply the ink, I come in with my water brush and I just extend that color out. And the water brush that I'm using is my Arteza water brush. The barrel is actually filled with water, so I can just squeeze the center rubber part of that water brush to let the water out when I need it. When you are coloring with watercolor pens, you just want to make sure that you're always drying the tip of your water brush off with a paper towel because you don't want to come in with too much water because you don't want to saturate too much of your paper. Also, when you're coloring with watercolor, you want to make sure that you rinse your tip of your paintbrush every time you go into a new color. If you don't do that, you're going to end up having the old color plus the new color, which is not going to give you the color that you want, obviously. <laughs> so I will have a list of all of the colors that I use down in the description box. So if you're interested in duplicating any of these colors, you can check the description box for a list of colors. So because I don't have the dyes, when I finish coloring this, I will fussy cut all of these images out with my scissors. But as I said, there are dyes available that you can uh, purchase to cut all of these images out. You can see that I did stamp out all of the images with the stamp set. So I stamped out the two drinks, the sun hat, as well as the sunscreen. And I will be showing the coloring for all of the images. However, when I create my final card, I'm only going to be including one of the drinks. I don't include both of them. So if you haven't seen the entire Simon Says Stamp Let's Chill release, I do encourage you to go check it out if you really love summer themed cards because there are a lot of summer and beachy themed products in this release. I will link the entire collection down in the description box below so that you can easily find that collection. So the martini glass is the one that I do not include. I only include the yellow cocktail and not the green one. And here I'm just going to go ahead and color up the sunscreen and then that will finish all of my coloring. So now I'm ready to add all of my pieces to create this card. I'm going to go ahead and glue down the umbrella first because the stand of the umbrella is going to be tucked behind the beach chair. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the chair so that it's overlapping the umbrella. I'm going to add one of the drinks and I'm going to add the sunscreen bottle to the sand. And I was debating on if I wanted to put the hat at the top of the chair so like it's hanging off the corner or if I wanted to put it in the sand. And I ultimately chose to put it there in the sand. So now that all my pieces are glued down, I go ahead and line up my sentiment stamp 
and I ink that up with some black ink and stamp it down. My sentiment says, let's get away. And then I go ahead and add glue to the back of that card layer and I'll add that to an A2 size white card base. So my card base measures four and a quarter by five and a half inches. It's the exact same size as the card layer. And that completes this card. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more card making inspiration. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Have a great day. Bye-bye.